And you guys, if you don't mute right now, you're going to be on the recording. So just to let you know. So we were talking about, um, had some technical difficulties this morning, but this video is talking about the way that we're going to start. We're going to review what your homework was. Um, so the first thing you were supposed to do is watch orientation videos and compare the orientation agreement. I created a YouTube playlist with names for the videos and I'm going to show you how they show up otherwise. If you go to your ACC, it's, it's your calendar that's linked. So if you go to a new tab here and then you hit your apps and your Google calendar, this is linked to your ACC email. And if you go to that calendar, let's say we go to Wednesday's class right here, you're going to see the videos from Wednesday's class. And once again, I tried renaming these and they still populate in the same way with the wrong time, uh, time standard. And you're just going to have to look at the time on this otherwise. So these auto populate it's real quick. And what it does is it downloads those to my Google Drive and I go in and rename them, upload to YouTube and create a YouTube playlist. So it will take me a bit, a bit to allow that to render and upload. And when I do that, I'll create a playlist and I'll send you a link like I did in Blackboard last time. But if, if you want to get to these videos at any time for the day of our class, if you missed it or you want to review something, they're in, they're not necessarily in order, which is kind of a problem, but they all have timestamps and you'll want to go by those timestamps. What I'm trying to do is rename the videos before I upload them to the playlist so that you can kind of see which video you need to watch again if you want to. So when I make those videos, you see that I made a playlist here in the orientation videos and I uploaded that for you guys. So maybe I'll make a an area over here in Blackboard and I can put every day's playlist so that you can see what day and then go in and see the names of the videos so that you can kind of tell what you need to review again. As far as the homework, I had to have three different homework assignments, A, B, and C here because I wanted to have links and it will only let me link one thing at a time. So this is orientation videos and the and complete the orientation agreement. And I think most of you guys have done that. And thank you for doing that. The next thing was um, review the chapter. So watch and listen to the videos because it goes in depth into the chapter. I don't have the time in two hours to do that, but I will go through the pertinent information and then submit chapter one review test. This is the only time we're gonna have a test on a chapter, you guys. So most of the time it's going to be projects that you actually um, put into, you know, that you upload for me to grade and you will have some, some check prints and that kind of thing to look at before you submit that. And then the last thing I sent you an announcement that says upload per this video. And this is actually a document, not a video. So when I sent that again, I just changed from video to document. And that's the only reason you got that twice. I won't know if you set this up correctly. This is for you. So what you want to do to make sure that you have this set up correctly is go to your file explorer. And I'm going to bring this over here. So if you guys can see that, you will see your Google Drive right here. All I see is, all I see is Blackboard still. Okay, so let me stop this and I'm going to present. Thank you so much. I've got to get used to switching around here. And here we are. So if you go to this file explorer down here make sure that you have a g drive right here and under your 
you may only see my drive or shared drives as well but shared drives are places where you can go and get information for your class normally we use that as the s drive and what we're going to do with blackboard is we're going to have everything on blackboard so you don't really need shared drives if you go to my drive that's where you want to put a folder for your work so don't just allow everything to be inside here go ahead and create a folder <coughs> called dftg 1405 or 05 so that you can put all your work in. um so now i'm going to switch back It sees it. it says that you can see this. Let me know if you can't. But we're back on Blackboard for announcements. Yes. And unfortunately, I have to flip back and forth like this because it will only show one full, uh, you know, when it says entire screen, it's only showing my main monitor. So, due dates calendar is the first, you know, that's the first thing that we'll look at every day to make sure, review what homework we had, and see what's due today. Today, the chapter one review quiz was due, and that is on Blackboard. So if you click on this, you can see that you might be able to get to that from your calendar. It just tells me to grade it, but it will tell you what is due that day. And it says chapter one review. So over here, you can go to chapter one, And here is submit chapter one review test. So you have to hit submit every time you do something or what I've found is that students have left it without hitting the submit button and it leaves a little hourglass in the grade center. So I'll send you a reminder to hit submit on that if I see that. Today we're gonna to talk about chapter two and that's multiple view drawings. And it's called multi-view. So in this, we're going to talk about what are multi-view drawings and why do we have multi-view drawings in that way. Explain how views are chosen, visualize and interpret the, the views of an object, and how many views do we need. <clears throat> we're going to talk about projection planes, describe line types, line weights, and the, the graphic primitives. And we'll talk about what that means. Orthographic projection, including the miter line technique. And this is something that no one ever taught me was a miter line technique when I was in drafting. So I had to do everything kind of the hard way in all views. Explain the difference between drawings created in first angle and third angle and to use a miter line. And we're going to start to sketch today. So we're going to... Um, we're going to go ahead and get into this and with that I'm going to stop this video and we're going to go over to my big screen and we're going to go through that presentation. Then we're going to get into exercises you guys and you're going to have sketching exercises so you want to have a pencil not a pen and this you don't have to draw this to scale because there is a grid and you're going to draw it to a grid because we haven't really gone over the different types of scales yet. So those are the things that you'll be needing for this exercise.